Hello everyone, I'd like to welcome you to our factory floor here at Power Innovations International, a, a light on group. And I want to take the opportunity to present our 120 kilowatt EV uh, charger, DC fast charger. Uh, so my name is Nick Stone, so I manage our, our marketing and product for, for Power Innovations. And here's Dan Ellis, our pro product and project manager for our EV charging solutions uh, here at Power Innovations. So what I want to do is take a little bit of a sneak peek in in our, inside our charger on both sides, kind of give you a, a, a sneak peek of what's happening inside the charger in terms of the power modules and then all the power distribution, um, and then kind of talk about the cabinet a little bit. Let's go ahead and take a look inside the cabinet. On this side here, you can see our power supply modules um, blinking very nicely over here. Uh, each one of these modules is 3.3 kilowatts of power. Uh, what we're doing is we're leveraging LiDAR's power conversion technology and scale. Each module is 3.3 kilowatts uh, in a row of three for 10 kilowatts uh, per row. And so what you see here is two 60 kilowatt stacks. Uh, the Stacks are controlled by this unit here on each one, which handles all of our controls, contactors, uh, communications, and things like that. And above on the top one, you'll see our PepLink modem, which handles our communication, over-the-air updates, transactions, and things of that nature. So on this side of the cabinet, I'm going to show you kind of the um, the back side of those same rectifiers here. So in terms of our, our cabinet on the power distribution side, we essentially have our AC power uh, coming in here, uh, going through that main switch on the other side that, that Dan showed you, uh, coming into our configuration bus bar, sending the power up into our, our parallel power packs, uh, going through the rack controller. So this is, uh, again, measuring all the, um, the incoming power uh, we're sending that power to each one of our power shelves, accumulating that power in our DC rail up to, up to the uh, top of the rack controller and out to our CCS1 cables on, on the outside. So in this particular configuration, as you may have noticed, there's two, uh, two outputs to you know, CCS1 guns, and so um, that's what you see here on the back side in terms of termination. Uh, all the communication is done through that, that's this top box, so from the screen, uh, that you see on the front uh, to uh, car communication uh, to doing any power conversion for any of the other low voltage loads all of that's done in, in, in terms of our top box uh, at the bottom here so uh, now you what you'll notice is i'm holding a couple bus bar configuration bus bars so what we are able to offer is multiple different voltage configurations and not change any of the different power that's inside the cabinet you see here so in this particular configuration, we're set up for 480Y, so we basically use this bus bar that I have in my hand right here. If you were in a three-phase application, 208 or 240 Delta, we have a different configuration bus bar that I have right here. So essentially any type of uh, typical distribution that you're gonna see for something that consumes up to 120 kilowatts of power, you'll be able to simply switch out a bus bar uh, to integrate into that particular distribution voltages with no other upstream uh, transformers or any other type of, of infrastructure that's needed here. So one cabinet, essentially any type of distribution voltage for this particular cabinet um, out here. So to wrap things up, um, in summary, our cabinet right now is a dual 60 kilowatt. Um, this and all other in the family are going to be NEMA 3S or IP54. Uh, we have a heat exchanger on the back, which you can't see very well, uh, that keeps the air inside in a controlled environment so we're not cycling in outside air. Improved reliability that way. Um, we just shipped six of these last week, uh, alpha samples. Uh, we will continue to be shipping alpha samples uh, going forward. In Q1, we're going to have a model with dynamically changing uh, power levels for each cord up to 120 kilowatts and we'll have UL for these units on Q2 of 2024. So if you want to learn more or have any questions, please visit us at powerinnovations.com. Thanks.